welcome back to Horror Recaps. My name is Freddy, and in a few moments, you're about to listen to a frightening tale narrated by me. Beware, fear awaits you. This thriller begins on a rainy evening when we see a senile old man in a wheelchair. He's paying close attention to the radio weather forecast, which predicts a heat wave and a surge in temperatures throughout Germany. Moments later, a young nurse from elder care visits his home as a part of her daily routine, and after seeing the main entrance unlocked and the empty wheelchair, she starts to look for him. Not long after, the old man appears behind her and strikes the nurse with an oxygen cylinder. He then continues to slam her repeatedly until she finally dies. After that, he goes to his window and screams aggressively to let his anguish out. In the next scene, we see a family consisting of a mother named Ella, her son Noah, and her daughter Laura. The three are going to Ella's hometown to attend the wedding of her sister, Santa. Noah then expresses his eagerness to visit his estranged grandfather and his father who is separated from his mother. Elsewhere, we see Ella's ex-husband Lucas bidding his girlfriend Kim goodbye. She works at a retirement home in their town and is summoned to duty. Soon after, Ella and her children arrive at their family house and are greeted by Santa and her fiancé, Malik. After everyone settles in, Ella asks Santa about their father. Santa explains that their father's been placed at the retirement house in the village since they both moved to the city. Hearing this, Ella's surprised because she hasn't spoken to her father ever since he got angry with her for divorcing Lucas. Later, Ella, together with Santa and Noah, decides to bring her father to the wedding. On the way, Ella sees how the secluded village has changed dramatically since she left. Santa claims that the town's youth has left for bigger cities, leaving only the elderly behind. They soon come across Lucas, and Noah is overjoyed to see his father. Ella, on the other hand, becomes extremely anxious to speak with her ex-husband. When they reach the retirement home, they discover that it's in a bad state, and the people who live there appear to be somewhat weird. There aren't enough nurses to look after them, so the elderly people merely sit around doing nothing. Soon after, they come across Kim, and Ella awkwardly shakes her hand. Kim notes that the facility is in disorder due to significant understaffing, and as a result, they are obliged to bind the elderly to their beds to protect them from injuring themselves. Meanwhile, Noah approaches his grandfather, Aiki, who doesn't even glance at him and keeps staring out the window. Moments later, Ella and Santa also arrive, and Ella apologizes to her father for leaving him and hugs him, causing the old man to be emotional and shed a tear. They inform Aika that he will be taken away for the wedding. Elsewhere, Laura sneaks out with her boyfriend, Alex, to have some fun. He takes her to the woods and shows her a 2,000-year-old stone structure constructed in honor of their ancestors' spirits. He says that it was created to protect intact families and curse anybody who disrespects and abandons their elders. Alex also shows Laura a section of the stone where Lucas and Ella engraved their love when they were teenagers. But this makes Laura sad because her parents aren't together anymore. That evening, Santa and Malik marry at the local church and everyone is delighted, except the old people who just stare at them. During the celebration, Lucas approaches Ella and asks her if divorcing him to settle in the city was worth it. However, before she can react, Noah and Laura rush inside and invite them to dance to their family song. The four of them then dance to their family song, which Lucas and Aiki used to sing together in the old days. However, Kim is clearly jealous and looks at them from afar, so Lucas rushes to comfort her and kisses her. Meanwhile, at the retirement home, the old people gather by the window, listening to the music at the party. Just then, a male nurse enters the room and informs them to sleep since they haven't been invited to the party. 
At the same time, another nurse hears a disturbance and follows it into the basement, where she discovers an old woman gnawing on an electric line. But before she can do anything, the old woman cuts the line, causing the light to go out. Upstairs, the male nurse tries to put an old woman to bed, but she snaps and bites him, causing him to toss into a table. The other old people in the room also become enraged, and they stab the nurse together with pieces of glass. Just then, the nurse from the basement arrives and tries to summon help, but a weird elderly man knocks her unconscious. The man reads the wedding invitation that Santa brought earlier, and they rush toward the event, murdering everyone they come across. Back at home, the party is ended, and it begins to rain heavily, so the guests leave one by one. Later, Ella tucks Noah into bed, and he tells her that the best part of the night was dancing as a family. At the same time, the newlyweds go to the nearby cabin where Malik has planned a romantic night for them. And while the couple's getting intimate, the scary leader of the old people enters the house, taking a metallic ball and attacking them in their bedroom. He savagely attacks Malik and tosses Santa down the stairs before murdering her as well. The scene then shifts to Ella, who's awakened by the sound of screaming in the distance. She investigates the home quietly and is surprised to find Laura not in her bedroom. Hearing the door go shut, Ella's terrified, but soon gets relieved to see her daughter. Now, Laura tells her about the old people, and they go to the window to confirm it. Suddenly, the piano starts playing in the next room, and when they check, they discover Aiki playing an unsettling melody. Meanwhile, on their way back home, Kim and Lucas come upon an old man from the retirement home in an open field. Then, as they drive near the village, they notice a lot of cars on the road with dead people inside. Soon after, gangs of spiteful old folks are spotted murdering and biting young people passing through the area. One of them follows Lucas with an axe, but he and Kim manage to escape before they are attacked. In the next scene, Ella hears a knock on the door and opens it to see an old man outside. The man then offers her a page, stating that they must obey their elders or be cursed. Meanwhile, Laura notices a strange woman and calls her mother. The woman then crawls away, freaking both of them out. Now, Ella instructs Laura to go inside and stay with Noah while she goes to check on her sister. But upon arriving at the cabin, she's horrified to see Santa and her husband dead. Suddenly, she's swarmed by the old people and is forced to jump out of the window. And when Ella arrives closer to the house, Lucas and Kim also show up. Immediately, Ella starts crying out of fear and panic, but they are compelled to go inside as they witness a swarm of old people approaching them. Laura quickly allows them in, but they are unable to find Noah and Aiki. Due to Noah being missing, Ella becomes enraged and takes her father's gun to confront the old people. Despite Lucas's disapproval, she's determined to find her son. However, as soon as she walks outside, she encounters old people wielding torches and weapons. This does not deter her, so she aims a gun at a random old guy and demands to know where her son is. Just then, Ella notices Aiki among them and asks where her son is, and when he does not respond, Ella tackles him to the ground. Lucas, on the other hand, holds her back and forces her to return to the home. While Ella's fighting the bloodthirsty old people, the terrifying old man and his companions enter the house. Inside, Kim finally displays her true colors and pleads with the old man not to murder her because she's been a good caregiver to them. She then asks him to hurt Laura instead, so the old people start chasing after her. Moments later, Ella hears Laura's sudden screams and returns to the house with Lucas. When Lucas presses Kim for an explanation as to how Laura was abducted, she reveals that it is his fault for leaving her alone. Lucas and Ella then walk down the corridor looking for their daughter. They murder two of the elderly folks, one of whom acts like a zombie. Soon, they arrive in the kitchen and notice that Laura is being attacked by an old man. Ella tries to shoot him, but the old guy knocks her out with the metal sphere. Now, Lucas rushes to his help and tackles the old man, but is quickly defeated. After that, Laura tries to strike the old guy while her father is being choked, but she gets hit in the face and is knocked down. Soon after, Ella regains consciousness and slams a vase on the old man's head, ultimately knocking him unconscious. They bind him and ask where Noah is, but the old man doesn't answer. Now, Ella becomes furious and aims her gun at him. 
Only then the man speaks for the first time and asks whether she sees a person or an animal in him. He tells Ella to shoot him because he would rather die than live like an animal. Just then, Noah arrives out of nowhere and says that he has been hiding in the attic where Aiki had taken him to hide. Suddenly, his asthma worsens and the family comes together to keep him stable and comfortable. And as the family hugs one another of relief, Kim looks on in jealousy, feeling left out. With Noah's health condition, fleeing now would be a horrible idea, so Ella recommends that they leave in the morning when he recovers. Later, when Ella goes to use the restroom, Kim follows her and expresses her jealousy. She claims that Lucas still speaks of Ella in his sleep, and that she will never be enough for him. She blames Ella for the chaos because everything was perfect before she returned. Kim then smashes the flashlight on Ella's head, which knocks her out and leaves the girl on the front porch. Moments later, Ella wakes up and sees her father urging her to be quiet. She then beats down the door, drawing the attention of her family. Kim tries to swallow the key to the door, but Lucas grabs it and tries to drag Ella inside. Now, the old people are attempting to enter the house, and in the process, they stab Lucas in the leg. Meanwhile, Laura gets a fire extinguisher and sprays at the old people. As Lucas clings to the door despite being repeatedly stabbed, Seeing this, Kim gets upset realizing that Lucas will never love her as much as he loves his family. So she walks upstairs and jumps out of the window, hoping to distract the old people. She's soon murdered by the elderly folks, allowing Ella to go inside and be with her family. However, Lucas is seriously injured in the attack and dies immediately. While Ella gets overwhelmed with grief, Laura informs her of the house's underground tunnel that leads to the cabin. The two look for the hidden entrance, which they discover beneath the piano. Ella and her children escape down the secret tunnel, but the old people pursue them. Soon after, Ella gets caught by the killers and advises her children to carry on without her. By the time Noah and Laura exit the tunnel and into the cabin, the morning light has already broken. Laura's phone starts buzzing with new messages of breakouts of hostile old folks around the country, followed by missed calls from Alex. She quickly contacts Alex back, and he urges Laura to meet him at the beach as soon as possible, since they need to get out of there. Following this, Noah and Laura attempt to leave the house, but they end up crossing paths with Aiki. Now she raises a gun to him, afraid to murder her grandfather. But suddenly a strange guy jumps on her. As the man places his knife on her throat, Laura urges Noah to close his eyes. Accepting her death, she begins singing their family song, and Noah joins her, while Aiki watches with tears in his eyes. Just then, we see the man trembling as he tries to keep the knife in his grip. In the end, Aiki steps in and shoots the old man, protecting his grandkids. Even though he just saved the kids, Noah and Laura calmly take the gun from his grip, possibly to avoid further bloodshed. Then, Noah asks whether he'll hurt them, but surprisingly, Aiki replies he can never hurt them because he loves them. The three then rush to the shore, where Alex awaits them at his boat, but he decides to trust him anyways, and as the four depart on the boat, they notice vast swarms of zombie-like old folks gathering on the beach. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching.